Tim Zhu is the perfect example of do not count your chickens before they hatch. Tim Zhu is the perfect example of the apple falls very far from the tree. Check out this picture of Tim Zhu's t-shirt last year. It says Tim Zhu's hit list. Jamel Charlo, Terrence Crawford, and Canelo Alvarez were all on Tim Zhu hit list. And after what just happened, he will never fight none of them names. You can't touch me. You're not man enough. I bet none of y'all had no idea who Bakram Murtazalev was. But after tonight, everybody gonna know the man's name. Keith one time Thurman was in attendance as a commentator. I truly don't believe Keith Thurman will ever fight again. And after he see the competition at 154, I guarantee you Keith Thurman stays retired. Stop being a bitch. This fight looked like it was in some type of banquet hall. I think that's kind of dope. It kind of reminded me of amateur boxing. Y'all know in amateur boxing, they love to have them banquet hall fights. But Tim Zhu stepped into the ring very confident because like I said, I bet you he didn't even know who Mr. Murta Zalib was. Who the fuck is that guy? I low-key thought Tim Zhu had this in a bag, but from the opening bell, I'm talking about round number one, it was bell to ass. Tim Zhu just wasn't ready. Bum ass nigga. Let me tell y'all what went wrong for Tim Zhu. You see, Mr. Murta Zalib had a very long jab. He had the reach advantage on Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu tried to box the man tip for tat, and you cannot do that when the man has the longer reach. Mr. Murta Zalev got power in them punches, especially that left hook. Ass whooping. Another issue for Tim Zhu was that the man had way too much pride. Tim Zhu is a warrior, I will give him that. The man is the type to go out on his shield. But toughness does not win you fights. Let me repeat that. Just because you tough in the sport of boxing, all that means is that you're gonna take a bigger ass whooping. All that tough stuff means nothing when we talking about the sweet science. Bum ass nigga. Mr. Murta Zalev end up dropping Tim Zhu six times. I'm surprised they did not throw in the towel after that third knockdown when Tim Zhu was clearly hurt. Tim Zhu was clearly drunk in that ring and Costa Zhu, Tim Zhu pops, should have threw that towel in. Who's beating me? Even though this was only a three round fight, the amount of damage that Tim Zhu took was the equivalent of four 12 round fights. Tim Zhu got changed tonight, that's right. I ain't never seen Tim Zhu drunk. And you gotta remember, whenever a fighter gets knocked down, even if it's a flash knockdown, he low key getting concussed. Let me repeat that. A concussion happens even when you get rocked. Even when you get flash knocked down, that is a concussion for those y'all who know boxing. The fact that Tim Zhu got dropped six times in only three rounds, you know the man got changed tonight. After that stoppage, Errol the True Spence tweeted out immediately, you cannot look over any opponent. Bud Crawford said, Tim Zhu thought he had an easy one. He took this dude lightly and was worried about other fighters. Terrence Bud Crawford is absolutely right. You see, I bet you Tim Zhu still got that shirt he was holding up at the beginning of the video. I bet you Tim Zhu thought he had an easy lick. I bet you the man thought that he had a cherry. When cherry picking goes wrong one on one, never underestimate nobody inside that square circle. Your father can get it too. What I don't understand is Tim Zhu is known to be a great inside fighter. I don't understand why he tried to play jab for jab with the way longer fighter. Tim Zhu is known for getting on the inside and landing devastating power shots to the body and to the head. Why would he try to box this man tit for tat knowing he does not have the reach advantage? Like Bud Crawford said, the man got super overconfident and he paid the damn price. I did get death threats. Immediately after the fight, Mr. Bakram Mirza Talib called out Terrence Bud Crawford the pound for pound king. How do y'all feel about that? How do y'all think a fight would go with Bud Crawford and Mr. Mirza Talib? Why, Keith? Why? Floyd Mayweather once said, just because y'all don't know a man does not mean he ain't a good fighter. Bud Crawford tweeted out, this is why you can't listen to these fans. They do not know boxing at all. Just because you never heard of a fighter does not mean he is a bum. Now everybody is high on Mirza Talib. Y'all need to stop downing these fighters just because y'all don't pay attention to them. Southpaw TV, it's not, it, it's not. Then this clown, Mr. Sergio Moro, the Latin Snake. Somebody who works for The Zone, but he was watching a PBC fight tonight. Hey, yo, Sergio Moro, bro, stay in your lane. You work for The Zone. The man tweeted out, bad matchmaking has knocked out Tim Zhu out the championship mix. Hey, yo, Sergio Moro, bro, bad matchmaking did not knock out Tim Zhu. 
The man's name was Bakram Murtazalev. What the hell is you talking about? Sergio Moro doesn't even understand what he is tweeting right now. He is basically letting everybody know that Tim Zhu should have had a cherry pick tonight. That's right. Sergio Moro doesn't even realize that he's basically saying, yo, y'all should have gave Tim Zhu an easy touch. Typical the zone cherry picking if you ask me. Sergio Moro, bro. Stay the hell out of PBC business. Shoot you in your shit. And Shakur Stevenson, the softest man in the history of boxing, had the audacity to tweet out. My dreams are getting closer. I can feel it. Yo, Shakur Stevenson, you said that last time, bro. Then the man tweeted out. I'm going to wake up everybody next year. Want to know why Shakur Stevenson said that he's going to wake up everybody next year? Because he put everybody to sleep this year. Literally. <laughs> Shakur talking about, they don't realize how special I really am. Yo, Shakur Stevenson, bro, are you trying to convince yourself that you are special on the internet? If you were truly special, you would not say a damn thing. The fact that you are tweeting on the internet to strangers lets me and you both know that you are trying to convince the public that you are some type of special, bro. You put everybody to sleep. You are promoter's worst nightmare. You ain't waking nobody up next year. Matter of fact, next year, you're going to steady keep on putting people to sleep. Shakur Stevenson is not cut like that. Softest individual in the history of boxing, I'm telling y'all. Fuck you, dumbass nigga. Hey, yo, Southpaw TV. Why you steady talking about Shakur Stevenson, bro? Because Shakur Stevenson is a boxer, and this is a boxing YouTube channel. Everybody take a look at this picture right here with Shakur Stevenson and Jay Prince, a.k.a. Jay Snitch from Snitch A Lot Records. The reason I talk about Shakur Stevenson is because I got a boxing channel and Shakur Stevenson is a boxer. He is not a gangster, although he wishes that he was. Shakur Stevenson got a job. He is a civilian. He is a family man. The man got wife and the kids, the whole nine. The last thing that Shakur Stevenson is, is a gangster. But he pretend he a gangster. The man never been outside unless it was at the boxing gym. My friends want to go do this. I'm, I'm cool. I'm, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to the gym. You go into the gym. You go into the gym. You was not on the block. You was not on the block. Like I said, Shakur Stevenson is a boxer, not a gangster. Soft as hell. And if you rock with Shakur Stevenson, 99% of y'all, soft as hell too. I stand on what I say. It hurts. You're not a pay-per-view star. 